Welcome back to the Keaton Knife Shop. Today we're going to be reviewing the Win 4210 10-inch drill press. This drill press is a small bench top model that is excellent for little jobs around the shop. I bought this drill press in February of 2018 and have used it for around a year and five months at the time of this review. Drill presses of this size lend themselves very useful for knife makers. I've seen many makers set up a few of these small drill presses in tandem in order to increase the speed of their batch work by reducing the amount of bit changes and pulley changes for speeds that they need to do. I purchased my drill press off of Amazon and I'll make sure to put the exact product link in the description below. Alright, before we get into the review, please look at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and click that subscribe button along with the bell button so that you'll see more reviews and knife related videos from my channel in your feed in the future. So let's get started with the review. The overall size of this drill press is perfect for my needs as a hobbyist knife maker. For a while, before I had a dedicated spot in my garage, I would lug it up and down the attic stairs periodically. While this is doable, I'd advise against it because it's heavier than it looks. My unit is not mechanically mounted to the bench it sits on. The weight of the base plate alone is sufficient for most tasks and I haven't had any issues. However, if you'd like to mount it to your bench, there are ample mounting holes to do so. So now we're going to go over some of the major features of this drill press. This drill press by Wynn comes with a half inch key chuck, a 3.2 amp motor, and a pulley system that allows you five different speeds varying from 600 RPMs to 3100 RPMs. I'm now going to do a brief demonstration on how to change speeds via this pulley system on your drill press. First, here's a demonstration of 3100 RPMs. change the speed, first you must loosen this motor mount so that you can pull the motor back and release tension on the belt. Then it's as simple as moving the belt to the specified pulleys for the speed that you want. It's nice and handy you have a cheat sheet on the inside of the cover that can tell you what pulleys you need for the different RPM set points. Here I'm changing it to 600 RPMs. After you get the motor mount retentioned and tightened back up, you're good to go. This is what 600 looks like. The total travel of the spindle for this unit is two and a half inches. I have found this to be plenty for the general hobbyist needs such as my own. There's a depth gauge on this press, but I found it to be a pain to use. The drill press is sporting a 7 and 5 8 by 7 and 5 8 cast iron table that is easily adjusted both vertically, horizontally, and can be tilted at an angle. The table also has standard slots to accept clamps and vices along with a hole in the center to allow safe drill through. I'm now going to demonstrate how easy it is to move the cast iron table. First, loosen the lever on the back of the table. This will free the table, allow it to move side to side like so. and with the crank on the right hand side you can move this table up and down. Once you have it in the position you like go ahead and retighten the lever on the back of the table. If you'd like to tilt the table you can do so using this nut which is located on the bottom of the table. I generally keep mine at zero. The work light that comes on the drill press is fully adequate for my needs, and as far as the laser goes, I don't use it enough to really give a solid review on it. Most of the work I do on this drill press is related to drilling uh, handle scales for custom knives. That includes materials like woods and micarta, G10, uh, things like that. I've also used this machine to the higher ends of its capacity by drilling thick pieces of steel like this quarter inch plate. As you can see in this clip and the following clip after it, you can see I'm using some fairly large bits through this thick steel. Uh, not all of these bits are sharp like this one. This one's very dull. I would advise if you're going to be drilling on thick pieces of plate like here to use sharp bits and to use a cutting fluid like Tap Magic to keep the bit cool and increase the life of your bits. Also, I would go slow. I would use patience and slowly work up the sizes uh, incrementally from a small size up to a large size. 
what you're watching here is me drilling out the center of an arbor from an arbor press. This hole will accept a pair of eyelet dies that will be used for kydex sheath making. In conclusion, this drill press by Wynn has taken everything that I've thrown at it in stride. I've surely used it for tasks that it was not built for and that would normally be done on a larger, more powerful drill press. It's held up wonderfully thus far, and I'd be more than willing to recommend it to a friend or a family member. If you're in the neighborhood for a small but capable drill press, then the Wynn 10 inch drill press can probably fit that need. So that concludes this review. If you like this content, please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more of it across your feed in the future. Until then, I'll catch all you guys on the flip side.